Hey everyone, Guardian E here with another build and construction and game update video for Azure Lane. We've just gotten the Iris of Light and Dark rerun event. The maintenance is concluded, we now have the event ready to grind, ready to take it on, and of course alongside that is going to be a number of returning ships from the original event as well as two all new ships for the rerun itself. And of course, a thematically appropriate, I've put Dunkirk as our secretary for today, so we can go ahead and admire her very, very lovely live 2D skin. Now, uh, you probably noticed there is a ton of stuff that actually dropped in the update. Not just the banner, not just the rerun, just a lot of quality of life stuff and general update stuff. So there's actually a lot to cover, and I do want to cover that with all of you. First, we'll go right into the sons, because I know a lot of you really are only here for those, and that's totally fine. <laughs> that's totally okay. Um, but for those of you who want to stick around and chill, uh, take a look at what's been added in the update. We'll go over that after the summons if you're interested, and I appreciate you, you folks even more. So let's jump into the summons first. So as mentioned, here is the limited time rate up banner for the Iris of Light and Dark ships. And I have all of the ones from the original, uh, the original deployment of this event. So all of these I already have, except for Le Malin, and uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name because I'm going to butcher it, and without question offend somebody out there, uh, I'm just going to call her Lopin, okay? So Lopin over here as the elite. Um, so if we take a look, uh, there are a lot of ships available in this rerun. Uh, Le Malin, Jean Bart, uh, Massachusetts, Lopin, Dunkirk, Surkov, and Forbin. So, lots of great ships. Surkov is awesome. Uh, Dunkirk's awesome. For, uh, you know, all of these all of these are pretty awesome. So, uh, for those of you who are, where this is your first time running, uh, going through the event, lots of great ships available. Uh, definitely a great time to start using uh, some of your stocked up wisdom cubes. So naturally we're going for the two new ships, of course. Uh, and, and they look great. They're very cute. Not completely and totally my type, so I'm not going to go in like crazy hard on this banner or anything. I think I'm going to try to you know show some restraint because uh, just around the corner uh, they did announce that upcoming is going to be the skybound oratorio event an all new french event with some really really gorgeous french ships so i don't want to go in too too hard on this uh, but let's get started first we're going to go ahead and deploy these six uh, ships from light construction because uh, these were my opportunities to get swift shore I'm certainly not expecting to get her since she wasn't rated up or anything, uh, but let's go ahead and deploy these nonetheless. You never know. It could happen. And who knows? Maybe we'll get an SR that'll, you know, spell uh, good luck and good fortune for the rest of our summons. Hey, and there is the Cash Cat Akashi. I don't know if she's a good sign or not. You know, the verdict's still out on that one because sometimes it seems like she... Sometimes it seems like she curses me a little bit, so I don't know about that. We'll see what Akashi's ploy is today. All right, well, let's get started into the main event. Let's start with a 10 pull, go right into it, and use those quick finishers, absolutely. Again, we're hoping for a Lamalin. Uh, she is going to be the uh, the brand new SR, of course. So it would be nice to get her. I don't actually need dupes of any of the other ships. Um, I'll take them. I'll definitely take them. Oh, hey, Nelson. How's it going? It's not bad. Always like seeing Nelson. So yeah, they did, uh, again, they did reveal kind of the roadmap for the next events that are hitting. Um, and of course, uh, one of them is going to be uh, the all-new... Oh, hey, there's Dunkirk! Nice! Dunkirk's art is gorgeous. It really is, undeniably so. Um, but of course, we already have our max limit broken, so we don't need this one. But thanks for showing up anyway, Dunkirk. Alright, well, we did get an event ship. That's kind of cool, still. Alright, this time we're going to go for a uh, five pull. Finish all. Fingers crossed. We get something new. Would be nice. Uh, definitely going to be grinding the event, of course, to get some of those exchange shop ships. Hey, and there is Lamalin. That is pretty awesome. Again, she's kind of tucked away. She's one of the newer, newer ships uh, for the event rerun itself. And we did get her here. So that's pretty cool. Akashi manipulated the RNG meter in our, uh, in our favor today. Lamalin, I am the mirage that chases the waves, the poisoned blade that protects the Vicha Dominion. Super Destroyer Lemalin is yours to command. All right, very, very cool. She kind of reminds me a little bit of like a ballet dancer with the tights and stuff. So that's cool. We've gotten basically what our target was, um, and that's very, very exciting. Was not expecting to get her really com 
To be completely honest, I wasn't expecting to get her at all. Um, we're going to do another 5-pull, since that seemed to go pretty well last time, and we'll try to just keep that going. See if we can't get a uh, Lopin, <laughs> that I am affectionately calling her today, before uh, hopefully somebody corrects me. Hey, Forbin, nice. That's cool. It's always nice to get event rares, or for there to be event rares, because that way you have like an easy event ship that you can um, you can max limit break quickly. There's Abercrombie. Okay, all right. Gonna dive a little bit more in. I think I'm gonna stick to these five poles. No, no real complete rhyme or reason to it. I just feel like it. I think the first build construction time was huge. I don't. Oh, that is Jean Bart. I was about to say. I thought it was like five hours or something. And that is, so that is Jean Bart. We are getting a uh, a dupe of her. That's cool. Don't mind. Uh, don't mind getting the the pirate queen here. That is totally fine by me. Um, again, we were talking about the Skybound Oratorio event. There are going to be a whole host of live 2D skins that are coming alongside that event, and they all look up absolutely amazing. So that's absolutely something to look forward to. You know, RIP my uh, my gem count, but a lot of those are catching my eye for sure. All right, well, another... So far, I think every single time we've done um, a set, we've gotten an event ship. You know, I, I, I'm not a greedy man. I, I don't ask for a whole lot more than that. As long as that gets maintained, I'm totally fine with it. So Lopin is a uh, uh, an elite. So she should have what? It's, it's like a 2.5% rate, I think. Okay, not here. Alright, how's the old cube count looking? Alright, not, not bad. Um, just a, a, a little bit more. We're going to go a little bit more. Definitely not going below 700. That's just that's just not happening. Because uh, I can always do dailies on this, even if I really wanted to. Which, honestly, I, I kind of don't. I just want... Oh, three Oklahomas in a row? Are you serious? Am I like... Go, is this deja vu? Am I going crazy here? Four? Can we make it four? That was almost four. I for, I saw those thighs and I was like, oh my god, it's Oklahoma. But no, it's it's Pensacola. And... Okay. <laughs> that right there is what we call a full house. So... This is a, a pretty pretty good hand in poker, but it doesn't do us a whole lot of good here in Azure Lane. <laughs> oh, man. That's rough. That is rough. Let's, uh, let's hope we can cinch this now. We actually haven't gotten a lot of elites now that I'm... Um, now that I'm thinking about it, it's been mostly commons for sure. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, that all went in the recycle bin. We will uh, keep this going for a little bit longer. I mean, I can't complain. We got Lamalan really early, which is super exciting. Oh, Prince Eugen. She's not. She's not a part of this event, but always good to see you, Prince. Thanks for showing up. Can't. We really haven't gotten any elites. It's really weird. We've got. I feel like we've gotten. More SRs than Elite so far, which is... Oh, no, I don't want to do a 10-pull. I'm going to stick to 5. This might be our last 5-pull. Might be the last shot. I think maybe I'll do one more after this if we're not successful, and then I think I'm just going to call it there, because uh, really just not worth it to me. Uh, Dunkirk! Dunkirk's making another appearance. See, Dunkirk's playing nice. Dunkirk knows that I treat the more... Oh, Serko! What? <laughs> one of the best best subs in the game. Um, not gameplay-wise, I just mean she looks absolutely amazing. I love Serko. Uh, and her live 2D that they uh, revealed just a couple of days ago, really tasty. Really tasty. Um, so we did get another Elite um, besides Dunkirk, and it was the other Elite uh, raid-up ship. But again, not, uh, not the brand new one. How are we doing? Okay, so I think this is the last 5-pull, and we're just going to leave it there if we don't get her here we don't get her and uh yeah if we don't get her here we don't get her here that's totally fine i'm not going to scrap away any more cubes for her she can just decide to not come and then eventually when she gets plopped into the regular summon pool you know maybe i'll get her then but uh this has been common city i gotta say even more so than usual we're getting we're even getting another jean bart <laughs> Um, and, and not this elite. Those elusive elites, they really can be elusive. Um, but that's gonna be it. We're not, we're not going in any harder on this banner, and quite frankly, I don't think I'm gonna be doing any more pulls on the banner, period. I think we're gonna go back to the light construction in the hopes 
um, of potentially getting Swift Sure. And also just replenishing our cube count for the Skybound Oratorio event. Alright, so let's talk about the update itself and what it brought to us. A lot of good stuff in here. First and foremost, Early Summer Celebration. So from the 21st all the way until the 17th of June, you have plenty of time to do this. You only need to log in seven days and do this little cute little Saratoga platforming minigame. And each time you play, you'll get one of these envelopes. And at the end of it, you'll be able to invite one of these lovely ladies off to the right hand side to, into your barracks. Um, I don't know what the full selection is. I don't know if it even says here what the full selection is. It does not. Let me check the actual button. It does not. Um, I suspect it's similar to last year's where it, it's like all the way up to Shokaku, you can get Otago, you can get Belfast, a Enterprise, I can't remember if Hood is in there. But a lot of good starter ships, especially for newer players, it's a great opportunity to get one of those ships, just to kind of jumpstart your account. Of course we have the Iris of Light and Dark rerun itself, limited build pool, we just did that. Of course the event shop, definitely worth going in on that and getting those guns and uh, other equipment that's there. Radiant Iris, Iris of Light Rerun, where you can get a meal here for free, and it's uh, it's just a grinding event, really not too difficult at all. Should be able to, Most people should be able to complete this with relative ease. We have the Sparkling Summer Rerun, where you can get Brillant here for free, uh, as long as, again, you do the grind, consume the oil. You can even just buy a ton of uh, dorm oil um, to fulfill that, and so it should be very, very easy to get her. And as you can see down here, they did add a Wishing Well. So the Wishing Well, let's talk about it. So the Wishing Well, a reoccurring thing uh, for newer players out there that aren't aware. It's basically a create your own raid up banner. Uh, goes from the 21st all the way until the 17th of June. And you can see the rates right here. They are standard rates, 2.5 for elites, 2.5 for rares, or actually 2.5 for elites and 2% for, uh, for super rares. However, rares are 2.5% which is kind of weird because I think rares would usually be 5%, so I guess they just didn't want to increase the rate that much. But r regardless, I mean, this is an awesome opportunity to get some ships that you may be missing that were dropped into the regular construction pool. Now, I will say that it stops up to a certain point. It's not current, so you can't pick, like, Swiftsure and put her in here as the rate up, unfortunately. That's that's not how it works. It's going to be older ships, um, all the way to, I think, like, right before Taiho got added into the general construction pool. However... Uh, Yostar and Manju heard our cries, and uh, they decided to actually add, and I'll show you right here, Taiho! They added Taiho into here, despite her not making the cutoff for the date um, the date range. So those of you out here who do not have Taiho, this is your opportunity to get her. Uh, don't squander it. I think it's a great one to get to try to go for her. Uh, of course, also other notables here are going to be like U81. Uh, Centaur as well is an excellent, excellent choice. Very, very powerful ship. As far as other notable ships that you may want to consider, Yukikaze is also a pretty decent choice. I like to stay away from the light construction pool, um, just because ultimately you're going to be doing light constructions when you're not in the middle of an event. So it's very, very easy to pick up these ships over time. But if you're newer, maybe you do want to splurge. Like getting St. Louis is actually relatively tough, um, and then getting um, Yatsen is also pretty tough. And she's also obviously very, very strong, so I certainly would understand going and getting Yatsen or going for Yatsen. There's also Aurora that's pretty darn good, and you have Pinghai and Ninghai as well, so you can complete kind of the triumvirate of, her, uh, of the Eastern Radiance. So, you know, those are all options available for you, and again, it, you can pick two of them. Those two ships will be rated up, uh, and then the Wishing Well, I believe, costs just two cubes per pole, like a standard, um, standard event banner. So definitely great that this is back. Um, you know, you got to pick your poison a little bit because, of course, we've got the all-new Iris of Light and Dark rerun banner here. But if you manage to get everybody really early, uh, you might want to switch over to the Wishing Well. Uh, if you need to save cubes, then maybe you skip both of them all together. Just go back to the light construction. So you got a lot of options here for your cubes. Another thing I wanted to know, if you go over here to the upper right-hand side and click on Memento, you'll see you have Gallery and Jukebox down here as new options, which is pretty awesome. So the Gallery features a whole bunch of loading screens throughout the course of the game. Um, it's by no means complete at all. But if you wanted to, uh, you could download some of these older uh, loading screens that aren't in the game anymore. Um, you just got to click on it, and it'll start to download. And as soon as uh, it finishes downloading, then you can view it, pull it up, full screen it, admire it, um, quickly move on to the next one by pressing to the left and right. Um, and of course the loading screens in this game, you know, they're usually thematic and they're usually pretty beautiful. So it's great that they added them back in for people that want to just enjoy them because I think a lot, there are a lot of really awesome ones. Unfortunately, it's pretty limited right now because 
Um, as it currently stands, there are only 30, and there are like a ton of loading screens. But hopefully they'll add to this, and we can just, you know, enjoy them. Enjoy the fact that they're in the game. The jukebox over here also fairly limited for the time being, but it, it just lets you listen to the music in the game. Um, so I'm hoping that they add some more of the event music, because currently it's really just kind of the default music for like the story mode and the different fights and stuff like that. So you can just scroll through them like this uh, down here with the little uh, buttons, or you can click on the list on the on the right and choose one of these to go through uh, and pick and listen to. So the promised moment, for example, um, that is going to be the, I believe, the Oathing, Oathing song. If it decides to load, there we go. I had a little technical difficulty there. Um, but yeah, the, I think these are great, just quality of life additions. You know, especially if the event, they add the event music, because I think that's going to be key. Um, a lot of the event music absolutely deserves to be in here. So I'm excited for that. So another addition to the main menu is the Manju Plaza right over here. So if we go ahead and click on the little golden anchor that says Manju Plaza, It'll take us to this very fun looking festival and uh, it does let you go right into the outfit store or limited construction from here. But aside from that, it lets you upgrade a whole bunch of things similar to the academy. So if we go into the, like the dumpling house, it lets you uh, use 10 pieces of I don't know if that's lumber. It looks like it might be lumber, but increases the damage your ships deal in normal hard and event stages by by uh, two percent. So, and then this one is reduces tactical class training time by 3% 3, 3 I can upgrade it to 4% as long as I get lumber. So again, just going through these, uh, increase the EXP gained in the dorm, that's awesome, definitely go for that. Uh, increase the EXP from ships gained on normal hard and event stages by 3%, just really good stuff. Now, of course, I don't have any lumber, and you might be asking, how do I get lumber? Well, you get lumber through the event. So you get lumber by doing certain daily missions. And in this case, you can see it right here, sortie and defeat three boss fleets. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to accomplish. Um, so by accumulating that, you can upgrade, upgrade those various uh, Manju Festival uh, Plaza stores that are around here and get those bonuses, which is actually pretty cool. They also added the port showroom over here, uh, which includes the Manju Misadventures, which again is the little... Um, mini game with uh, Saratoga here that I'll just show off very briefly. So Saratoga herself jumps at a, a predetermined arc or a predetermined uh, length of time. You can't like uh, just short do short hops or anything. So you kind of have to pick now and you can't skip platforms, unfortunately. So even if you think you can jump over a platform onto another platform, you can't do it. Um, but relatively easy. You can take whoops. You can take three hits here um, before the big manju down there eats Saratoga, I guess. Um, and you just kind of climb all the way up. But uh, yeah, so let's... <laughs> let's just let's just end this. And of course, I just wanted to go over some of the skins that dropped. We have Beachside Magician for Lopin here. Uh, very, very colorful. Very, very bright skin. Looks nice. Um, of course, we have Sleepy Sunday for Lamalin. <laughs> uh, kind of in a slump. Looks like she doesn't want to study. And of course, we have a meal skin that returned from the last time Iris of Light and Dark was here. And this is actually just a beautiful skin. It's live 2D. Um, the color selection, like the color choices, the palette is really stunning. And she looks super, super good. Forbin here looks like she's running errands in her, in her like a Sunday dress, just out and about in the town. Uh, we have Dunkirk here, Afternoon Venus, just relaxing indoors. I do have the other Venus, uh, the other Venus, the other Dunkirk skin that I that I showed. I forget what the name of it is, but it's her swimsuit skin, which is absolutely gorgeous and totally worth it. I would recommend that to people out there. Um, Lemars, this is her uh, school skin. And we have Forbin also having a school skin as well. So great selection of skins available. Personally, and re fully recognizing that it's completely unrelated to the event, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just buy the Scorching Hot Serios, Serious skin here now because we've got six days left. May as well buy it now so we can show it off. So I'm going to do that. I'm not really tempted by any of the other skins except for maybe Emile's. But at the end of the day, I think I'm going to save because, like I said, the next French event that's dropping has a ton of really, really nice live 2D skins. So for those of you who are going to be spending gems on these skins, I'm not saying it's not worth it. I'm just saying, remember, Akashi always has an ace up her sleeve. So let's go ahead and buy this uh, this skin for Sirius. Scorching Hot Sirius. I've received ample advice from my colleagues in the maid team regarding swimwear etiquette. My honorable master, are you pleased with my appearance? Yeah, yeah, you could say that. I am pleased with your appearance. 
Uh, let's slip her in this, and we'll also set her as the secretary so we can admire it. Let's go right there. All right, and here she is in all of her glory. I love the animations. She, the swimsuit is, uh, I love the way that like she tugs on the little garter there. It was kind of blocked by the text box. Kind of fidgeting and blushing a little bit. Very, very cute. And she's got those, uh, she's rocking those heart sunglasses. I really love those sunglasses a lot. Um, and then, why are you staring at me so intently? Um, no reason, no reason, no reason at all. Uh, she's got a little manju on the side there. Looks like she's ready for a beach picnic, which sounds really exciting right about now, especially since we're all tucked away indoors. She's got, looks like some uh, some fried shrimp, some fried ebby right there. And she's got a little little sandwich as well. And maybe some iced tea, or is that a coffee? I don't know. But uh, looks like she's ready for a, a good time on the beach. My honorable master, are you tired? Something to rest on. If you wouldn't mind, then feel free to use my body. Serious. So suggestive. You naughty, naughty maid. All right. Uh, let's actually take a look at her... Uh, if we go to the archive, I'm pretty sure we can check out her introduction. All right, so very quickly, I just want to check out her archive here. Yeah put the live 2d on because her login screen is really cool i know it's it's fairly uh fairly robust so let's check it out login that camera pan she flips up the shades all right all right serious looking good looking good then a little special touch action understood if you would like to see me in a bikini then is is that so oh wow she tugs on that thing that that swimsuit is not meant to be tested serious. It is at full capacity right now. Prematurely jumped to conclusions yet again. Oh, she's so self-conscious. Very, very cute. Okay. And then we can just admire the skin a little bit. So again, like I said, they're serious. Rocking those shades. She's got her handbag with her. She's got her smartphone ready for a day at the beach. She's got the, um, uh, the magazine there that she's flipping. Looks like a Maju is sleeping in the magazine. Um, some sandwiches, some ebby. Looks delicious. I'm actually starving right now. I could go for a sandwich. Got some drinks and some apples, and yeah. And then, of course, the main attraction, Sirius, looking very beautiful here. So, uh, I know I got sidetracked because this has nothing to do with the Iris of Light and Dark. I'm sorry, Sirius has that effect on me. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you decided to summon on the Iris of Light and Dark rerun banner. If you did, wish you the best of luck. I hope you got all of the ships that you needed in your first 10 pulls. I really do. So let me know how you did. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so much for watching and taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really, really do appreciate it. I certainly hope that you guys are staying safe and secure and healthy out there uh, in these pretty uncertain times. Uh, wishing the best for you, your family, and your friends. And until next time, let's protect those waters.